Good day, folks. Welcome to the shed. I'm in here today now. We're uh, doing a going to do a cast iron Wednesday. This is Wednesday, the tenth of April. Yeah, actually, it's my young fella's birthday. So this evening we'll have a little birthday cake for him in there. Yeah, what uh, you seen there now is a tent I bought uh, for father the other day. I'm just letting an air out in there. You got a little bit of moisture on it, so I'm letting it dry out. And, yeah, it's all good. I'm gonna take it down there now. Yeah, yeah, for 80 bucks. Pretty good deal, I think. We are right now. Probably using that for an ice tip too. The winter, next winter. So we'll pop that one down now and uh, get on to cooking. And I'll check back with you in a few. Oh, just a lot more room. I'll pack it up. It's a bit warm here today. I'm not going to bother cooking on the stove there. It's uh, like almost 10 degrees. So we're going to try this new propane stove about the while ago. At the local Walmart for $49.99. Yeah. So, just one gas line. Two fit, they're good. And we'll uh, start her up now and uh, get at her. I'll just get the pans warmed up there now and then we'll be cooking. Oh, show you that little thing there, guys. What we're having today is buffalo. Poison steaks. Bought it at our Sobe store. I've never tried poison before, but uh, everybody's saying it's a uh, it's a good steak. So yeah, looks a bit uh, lean there. I don't know if it's going to be tough or tough or not. So and there's directions there how to cook it. You can see. Uh, yeah, for rare, two, three minutes. Uh, medium, four to five. So we're going to go with the four to five. All right, guys. So uh, I get this on to go now and uh, uh, get back to you shortly. Hello, folks. I was doing the video there then and when nothing happened to do the phone. So uh, I missed putting all this stuff in. That's alright. I got my ash browns put in and the uh, buffalo steak and the onions. Yeah, so here you go. I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes there now and, uh, and uh, get back to you shortly. This is uh, spiced up with my roasted garlic and peppers. Yeah, this is awesome. A little bit of garlic to go with it and that. Yeah, even uh, sprinkle a little bit on there. Just put a little seasoning to it. Anyhow, we'll check back with you shortly. Yeah, back again there now. Reading directions there, whatever I would have cooked it. Medium rare. Four to five minutes, under five minutes, and it is medium rare. And I think I'm gonna leave it alone for another little bit because I don't like eating raw meat. Truth, any kind of raw meat. So I'm just gonna give this a flip and uh, leave it on now for another probably minute and a half to two minutes. Onions is pretty well done there. Ash browns is uh, getting there. Pretty well done. So I think I'm gonna leave it alone another, like I said, another minute or two, and we'll try it. Go to the plate, then. This piece is a little bit overdone, but like I said, I don't eat like eating. Eating raw meat. Mm. That's good. Try this piece. Mm. Yeah. This one is a little bit rare. A little bit of blood in. I don't mind that so much. Try it. Buffalo steak. Oh yeah, 
Mm. First time I had it. And the handle's on. What can I get? One second there, guys. Bear with me. The onions on there. Oh, yeah. I love the cast iron. Just ash browns. Get this there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, let's have another taste of that now. Hoot the shed there, having a feed. A few onions. There we go. Mm. Yeah. It's a tasty meat. Yep. Yeah. Glad I bought it. Mm. I think I'll uh I think I'll probably buy some more of that. A little bit of ketchup on me ash browns. Great little rig sort of shed. Anyhow guys. Just me cast iron Wednesday there now. I'm gonna tender meat there too. Let's say it's probably done a little bit over, but but that's all right. Well, enjoying it. Well, guys, that's it for my video there. Hope it takes long and. Enjoy it. Buffalo steak dinner at Shed. Never thought I'd have buffalo. Found it hard to get. I know it's uh, my uh, first cousin moved to Alberta a few years ago and he after him shooting to a tree there now. Yeah, he goes through to the, I don't know what it, farms, I guess, or whatever, and get shoot the buffalo in here. So, guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Please, please subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, that's the snowshoes there, Kirk. I know I mentioned this earlier. That I thought it was on the probably on the piece that never. Yeah. So anyhow, I'll get try them next year. All right, guys. Take care and all the best, and uh, have a great one.